Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 53 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, thank you for your patience last week as Swimbo was off for the week. So we spent the time together. Modeling was done, but that's for future video. Anywho, let's crack on with this build with some deckling. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! So there we have the deckling done. Easy peasy. Now I know why armor modelers model armor. Subtle decals. Well, apart from the 216 I put on the rounds, but that's not standard. Anywho, moving along swiftly before I dig any deeper, let's get some wash on here. I was sent some of the panel line wash by Meg by a mate of mine as he couldn't get on with it. So let's give that a go. Not really impressed with the storm grey. Let's have a look at the stone grey. I don't know whether it's me or this. Probably me, not I'm like. But I'm not getting the capillary reaction I get with my homebrew washes. Hmm, not sure. Nope, not impressed at all. It just makes it go flat. It's like putting a rain wash on it. Anyway. Let's see what Humbrol's sand wash is like. This is well old, so I'm not expecting much, but here we go. No, that's the wrong cap. Yes, it goes on that one. Well done. Anywho, I'm not impressed with any of those, sadly. Any suggestions greatly appreciated. Is it something I'm doing? Please comment down below. Next up, we're going to paint the cables and things that are steel. So I'm using Alclad 2 Steel 112. So let's get that done. There we have the steel bits on the Hetzer painted. Okay, I've put this off long enough now. I need to get this bloody fitment issue with the lower and upper hulls of the King Tiger sorted. After much umming and procrastinating, I decided to get rid of this bit of Zimmeret. And would you believe it? That was all it was that was stopping it going in perfectly. But now it doesn't sit right on the sides and the back what the ah oh, what the hell am i gonna do oh well, i know i'm gonna order some acrylic clear rods and have an exploded view of the king tiger on a diorama that's what i'm gonna do 
Anyway, after knocking off the side skirt again for the umpteenth time, let's get it glued back on. So, there's the side skirt and the driver's hatch glued back on. Now, to get the way the tank sits correctly, it will be sat flat. So what I'm going to do is put the wheels on and they're going to put glue on all the suspensions arms then put my engineer's blocks on top of that to weigh it down to give the impression of weight on the wheels. So here we go with that. Oh good God you absolute muppet. I've got this suspension arm and this suspension arm the wrong way around and I broke an ammo rack good lord you had one job to do you couldn't even read the instructions properly this means that I need to break them off and swap them over so here we go with that And there we have the suspension arms correctly fitted along with all the wheels. As you can see, we've got lots of give in the suspension, which needs fixing. So we're going to turn the hull upside down and put lots of glue in those suspension arms. Flip it back over, pop a couple of heavy engineers blocks on top of it. What could possibly go wrong? Let's find out. Absolutely nothing, ye of little faith. That now needs to go to one side to dry in that position. Next, let's fit the running gear to the Hetzer, so here we go with that. So there we have the Hetzer running gear on and glued in place. Pop that to one side to dry. Now for the wooden box that carries some of the spares for the Hetzer's crane. So let's get on with that. And done. So let's pop that over there to dry. Next up, we're going to start with some rust effects. I copied this from Uncle Nightshift's rust tutorial, which is brilliant, but with one slight change. And I'll tell you about that when I get to it. So let's crack on with some rust.
So we started with a grey base coat, followed by off-white, put on with a sponge, followed by whole red, and then finally desert yellow, both put on with a sponge. This is as far as Uncle Night Shift takes it, and it looks really good. This is where we digress. I've been introduced to a product, funnily enough, called Rust. It's made by a company called Dirty Down. I've popped the web address on the screen. So we do unusual things and that's read the destructions and apply as we're told to. Here we go. So there we have that done. And here is what it looks like. Now to move on to doing some weathering on the King Tiger. Here I'm putting a red primer on locations that would have been worn. Once I've done this, I'll then add a bit of gray to simulate the bare metal. Here we go. And there we have the red primer and the grey done. So this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 53. If you want to see what happens in episode 54, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.